It's time for business news with Richard Southern. We saw gas prices drop significantly earlier this week, but they're set to jump again tomorrow when a new tax kicks in, Richard. Brandon, it's good to see you, my friend. Uh, yeah, it's April Fool's Day tomorrow, but this is no joke. No. The price at the pumps, Brandon, it's going up tomorrow. It has nothing to do with oil, has a lot to do with the carbon tax, which is scheduled to go up on April 1st. So here's what you need to know. You're going to be paying six cents a liter more come midnight tonight. The average in the GTA to hit about $1.739 a liter. The carbon tax is going up another 2.2 .2 cents at midnight uh, per liter. Uh, that means the total tax on a liter of regular unleaded gas in Ontario will go from 33 and a half cents to 35 and three quarter cents. A lot of what you pay per liter is tax, and that's going up. A little bit of good news, a little bit, in that we're expecting the price of gas to fall three cents on Saturday, but tonight is definitely going to be your best bet for a fill-up. The price of oil really went down today, and it had everything to do with Joe Biden. The U.S. president announced that the states would release one million barrels of oil per day for the next six months from its strategic oil reserve in an effort to push down oil and lower the price of gas, Brandon. Oof, this is, this is why we need to carpool. Me and you. <laughs> Let's get our bicycles out, Brandon, and I don't know, do the Fred Flintstone with the feet pedaling. we got to do something to beat oh, these gas prices. I'm down. And so also uh, a car that I don't think I'll be able to afford anytime soon, but you won't <laughs> see Tesla's testing uh, many of its vehicles here in Toronto, and apparently there's a reason for that. There is, yeah. No, what, 80,000, 90,000 kicking around for a Tesla. Um, <laughs> They, they're, what they're doing, the Teslas now, they're rolling out a self-driving feature. It's a software upgrade, and a lot of Tesla drivers super excited about this. But Tesla drivers in Toronto, they tried to update to the self-driving thing, and the, the car said it's not available in your city. And one of the Tesla drivers in Toronto asked Elon Musk on Twitter, hey, what gives? Musk says, quote, Toronto streetcars are not yet handled well by the full self-drive feature. You know, it turns out some of the unique aspects of Toronto streets are tough for autonomous vehicles. Things like differentiating between regular street lights and street car lights is tough for, for this software. Navigating the dedicated street car tracks is difficult. And of course, making sure the car stops behind the rear doors of the streetcar is also difficult. So that's why you're not gonna see any self-driving Teslas around Toronto anytime soon, Brandon. Interesting. Now the first quarter of the trading year has come to an end and it's been a pretty significant three months on several fronts, Richard. Yeah, Bay Street outpacing Wall Street. First of all, hard to believe the first quarter is over, but it is indeed in the books on the markets. And it was good for the TSX. Uh, the Bay Street benchmark was up three and a half percent. Three and a half percent win. That's a good quarter for the Toronto stock market. But look at Wall Street. Not so hot. The Dow and S&P down three percent. The Nasdaq down seven. The differentiating factor was commodities. We have so many commodity stocks on Bay Street. Look at oil in the quarter up 33 percent. Gold up six percent. Oh, and Bitcoin not so hot. Down about a percent in Q1, Brandon. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Richard. That's uh, business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.